yo i am at one of the uh i'd say beautiful but uh weird at the same time uh places uh unique is a good word i'm at the lavender pit in uh, bisbee arizona uh, let's check it out show you the landscape here got this like brown orange to like gray look looking water down there let me uh, get an open there's some moles in the fence I can show you a little better look at that nasty orange dark orange color down there think you'd be in like a Mars movie or something, you know? It's definitely unique. Definitely unique. Alright. Ooh, that bar is hot. Got this like dark orange landscape with green trees. And then you have this like gray, and it's just scattered throughout. This area. It's a nice memorial here. Dedicated on December 7th, 2008, to honor the local World War II servicemen and women who made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. Yeah, amen to that. Really nice memorial. more names. think any of us would be here or know what the way of living we do today if it wasn't for them. Take you over here. They have some signs in a Ramada. Get out of the sun here. Lavender is growing in this area. Also, uh, central to northern Arizona, 
lot of lavender is grown. How the pit was made. Created a period of over 60 years through three mining phases. Sacramento Pit, 1970, 17 to 1929. Lavender Pit, mined from the 50s to 70s. The Holbrook Extension, 1960s, 70s. I believe it was closed after that point. Those dump trucks are huge. The lure of copper, man, everything runs on copper. It's what a lot of people don't realize. history of the pit. Looking at the lavender pit, copper mine, open pit mining at Bisbee began in 1917 and ended in 74. The pit is over 4,000 feet wide, north to south, 5,000 feet long. 850 feet deep is the maximum. More than 300 different types of colors. Yeah, it's actually really beautiful. It just looks like something, uh, if we ever traveled to Mars, this is what I would kind of think what Mars would look like with the colors. It kind of has that reddish orange. Pretty unique. Protecting the land becomes a important part of mining operations. Yeah, we have to be careful what we do. There's Bisbee, and there's where I was. That's the other side of the lavender pit. If anybody knows what the heck these buildings are right here, Please leave them in, uh, in the comment, please. Let me know what they are or were. I'm really curious. Check out these old pumps. I had to come to Erie Street. Uh, it's like a time capsule here. Yes, gas used to have lead. I used to love the smell of it when I was a little kid. <laughs> These old pumps. Wow, I even had to crank them.
What a trip. Old Pepsi machine. Check out these old cars. And where I'm going to take you, there's a bunch of them. But, um, yeah, it's like a time capsule. It's kind of like frozen in time. Uh, it's a little ran down on this side. But as we turn the corner up here, you're going to see a lot more. Check out this old radio station. Wow, that's crazy, man. Hey, I have one of those microphones right there. What's oh, blue? Okay, this is actually Lowell. I believe it was annexed by Bisbee. Here's the original uh, Bisbee Breakfast Club. They have a few uh, in Tucson. Been to one. Check out these old motorcycles. Harley Davidson's. Yeah, this is Lowell, and look at this. This is just like a time capsule. Little kitty. It's old, old cars. GMC truck. Garage. Yeah, check this out. It's a cool mural. Cool place. the baby of the family so my dad was uh he my dad grew up in, uh, let's see my dad would be middle 50s he would have been around 20 years old and uh this is the kind of era that he grew up in Yeah, I was the baby of the family. My, my family spread out, so um, age-wise. So, yeah, this is Lowell by the Lavender Pit. Uh, the Lavender Pit um, took up a lot of this area, unfortunately. And um, basically, this part of this Bisbee had to shut down. Um, but, what a nice Harleys. It's a cool area. I had to show it off to you guys. A uh, little time capsule.